Right guys, so welcome back to another video and today it's going to be a very interesting one as I'm going to show you guys the differences between software encoding versus hardware encoding rendering times on the latest version of the Adobe Premiere Pro uh, 2020. So you need to make sure you're running on the uh, May 2020 release. So if you go to their website here and check out the uh, change changes, you scroll down, you'll see they've added the hardware accelerated uh, H.264 and HEVC encoding which is also known as the H.265 so it's now available uh, to be used with hardware uh, encoding as well so if you have a new uh, if you have an AMD GPU or an NVIDIA GPU that supports this this means you can utilize your uh, hardware instead of the software uh, which will result into faster export time so we're gonna find out if it's any big uh, the difference is any big or not uh, so yeah, just make sure you're running on the 14.2 version. So for me, I am running should be the latest version, which is yeah, mine is a bit late. It's a bit newer. It's 14.3, but as long as you're 14.2, you should see the option to enable the uh, hardware encoding option. So yeah, so firstly, you need to go to the export and make sure you're on H.264 or H.265, and you go to video tab. You scroll down you'll see we have uh, options to choose whether it's hardware or software so we're going to start off with the hardware and see how fast it renders this uh, 10 minute uh, 1080p video at 60 frames per second so we'll see how fast it renders versus the uh, software encoding so let us get started and I'm going to time this and see how fast it does it and we'll be right back with all the results uh, on the screen so you can see whether it is, yeah, is it any big or not the difference Alright guys, so we have done rendering the videos for both software encoding and hardware encoding and man, I gotta tell you the differences is huge. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna read out the results here on the screen, you're gonna be able to see it soon. So for software encoding, we, the time taken to render that 10 minute video, it took about 6 minutes and 32 seconds. And for hardware encoding, it just takes 3 minutes and 10 seconds, so nearly half the time to render that same video. Which is fantastic. So basically, uh, if you are, you have the hardware to uh, enable hardware encoding, which is which what I did. Uh, definitely, you'll save a lot of time in rendering large amount of uh, videos and uh, higher color, higher resolution videos as well, which is fantastic. And yeah, so this update definitely boosts uh, performance, uh, rendering performance, and as well as uh, speeds up my time in rendering and the videos that you see on YouTube and also uh, yeah uh, saves more saves my time and definitely worth it and obviously uh, to utilize this uh, hardware encoding feature you need to be on the version 14.2 as I said and you also obviously need the hardware to support it which is either you have an NVIDIA GPU or an AMD GPU so make sure you have those uh, GPUs obviously in order to take advantage of it if you're using uh, integrated GPU, I really don't recommend using this because <laughs> integrated GPUs aren't that strong, especially the Intel one. So make sure you have a dedicated GPU, which will be very helpful for your uh, rendering work workloads. So I guess that's all for me in this video. Just a quick comparison between uh, the time differences to render the video using software encoding versus hardware encoding. I just want to see how much the big difference about it. It is definitely very big and it's really going to speed things up in terms of my rendering workloads as I said. So it's very nice and yep, that's all for me guys actually for this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And obviously don't forget to hit the notification icon bell so you won't miss on my notifications. And that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.